welcome or welcome back to uh, Life on the Furniture. Um, this channel is mostly focused around doing YouTube videos, reacting to different YouTube channels. Um, not so much like watching their videos, usually like trying new like hacks or reviewing what information I've learned from different videos, uh, which videos, uh, channels I found useful, fitness channels. Um, but right now I've been going through and doing a lot of hamster channel uh, reviews, um, primarily Victoria Rochelle and Munchies. Um, and that's because, and Vanilla Ham Ham, uh, and that's because I have three hamsters myself, so it's a topic I'm very invested in. Uh, and I also think that there's a lot of misinformation out there, and I think I have a lot to say on the topic. So today, what I wanted to talk about was um, food, hamster food. So um, Munchie has a video on her channel where she talks about um, some of the good foods you can buy for hamsters, some of the bad foods that you can buy for hamsters, um, and generally how complicated it is to feed your hamsters everything they need um, because you can't really get it out of just one seed mix bag. You have to like kind of blend together to make sure that they're getting enough protein, they're getting enough diversity, they're getting enough, um, well they're not getting any like dyes or like hay, you know, not too much corn, uh, that kind of thing. So uh, today I kind of wanted to review uh, what we feed our hamsters um, kind of to try to show you what I've learned from these channels, if that makes any sense. So, uh, I also wanted to talk to you about how challenging it can be to purchase these foods, where you can get these foods, um, trying to keep it like real with you because sometimes, you know, God bless these hamster channels, I don't know where the hamster community would be without them, but sometimes, um, they're not realistic, and definitely we should be meeting the minimums that our hamsters need, no argument there, but I think sometimes that there's no like, okay, now you can just go do it. So, um, I wanna start by showing you um, our basic seed mix. So, this is our seed mix, uh, Sunburst. This is recommended by both Munchie and um, Victoria Rochelle, because uh, it's got a diverse group of seeds. It's got an okay protein content. Uh, crude protein is 15% minimum. It's still not enough protein, so you have to like add to this, but this is a very good base for your hamsters, and you can get this at like a PetSmart or a Petco, where you can't get this very easily, at least with like Prime. This is not on Amazon Prime, so if you're ordering it, you have to order it in advance of when you want to get it, unlike other hamster food, which is much easier to access for some reason, when pretty much everybody agrees this is the best just brand of hamster food mix. Um, so to complement this, I'm sorry that this looks very gross, uh, we put it in like a separate bag, but this is the Missouri pellet. This is a protein pellet. Um, there's also a Wheezy in here, but um, these are really good for adding to your seed mix. This is provides some of the protein that this lacks, um, but obviously if you just fed them this, that's really boring um, for the hamsters and then for them have the diversity that the Sunburst has. So, you know. But the thing is, like, not all hamsters just eat everything. So we bought these because they're the best. Our hamsters weren't really like fans of them and they would just leave them in their cages. So we're like, okay, we have to figure out something else to feed them because apparently we have picky eater hamsters. They may have gotten that from me, I don't know. So we use these 40 Diet Pro Health um, protein little packs. Um, these support the uh, 
profile content because this minimum is 40%, um, sorry, not 40, 20% protein. So it just adds a little bit more protein to their diet. Um, but you have to be careful because these do have like little, these, ah, here's one. They have these blue things. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you want to take these out because these have just dye. They don't need that. Just give them the pellets. Um, so not quite as good, but better than nothing for adding protein. And we also supplement our protein with mealworms. Um, yeah, you can get these on Amazon super easily or at the pet store. Um, this is 47% protein. Our hamsters love these things. Um, if they even smell like this, if this is open and you, they will come out like because they want these so badly. So I really recommend them. It's a total myth that hamsters are herbivores. They're not. Mealworms are the way to go 100%. Obviously, this shouldn't be like the only way they get protein. This is good. They need seeds. But dang, are these like great for a very healthy protein that they're going to love and is going to be like a treat for them. Also, you can get these on Amazon pretty easily. So, so far, the Sunburst and the Missouri are the two that you struggle to find on Amazon Prime, or at least I do, which is frustrating because with the pandemic, I'm doing everything on Prime. Okay, now, the next few items are sprays. So, there are a couple ways you can feed your hamster. Um, I learned this from Victoria Rochelle. Um, this like foraging technique, I hadn't used it with my previous hamster. I will never go back um, because I think it keeps them so much more entertained um, and encourages their natural, natural, bleh, 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 natural um, instincts to forage. So with sprays, you can put them in and this is really helpful. Like, like hamsters are kind of like cats in the sense that you can go out of town for a couple, day, couple days, not longer, but a couple days. And if you fill up their water and you put in their seed mix, because you're only feeding them like every two or three days anyway, um, you know, but you're worried. You're like, oh my gosh, what if they starve? Ah, this is what I do. I leave in these sprays. So there are wheat sprays um, that you can get. Um, my hamsters like these, but they are afraid of them. <laughs> So what I do to help my hamsters like realize it's food uh, is I break the spray into like little seed bits and put it at the base of the spray and then they'll try those and then like them and then go for the spray. So if your hamsters are like ignoring the sprays, try showing them that it's like, try showing them the seeds off of the spray and then they'll recognize like the scent, recognize the, like the look of it and then they'll be more likely to try it. Um, these are also like kind of hard to find online. Like sometimes they're online, like on Amazon, sometimes they're not. I don't know why. But you can buy oat sprays, no problem online. Um, again, it's something for your hamster to know on. Our hamsters are like not the biggest fans of sprays. They'll forage for seeds, but they're not the biggest fans of sprays. I like to put them in there anyway. Again, just because if we're gonna be out of town for a couple days, they have them. They do eat them. At this point, I've seen all of my hamsters like eat from the spray. Um, but again, it's just practicing with them that like it's food, especially if you have a hamster that's like, either a rescue that like was only being fed like pellets that look like this, like this does not look like this. So they're gonna be confused. Um, so just kind of show them slowly that you can eat this, yum yum. Um, but don't be surprised if they, like it stays in the cage a while before it's finished being eaten because at least our hamsters prefer the sweet seeds to the sprays. 
Uh, but it also adds like texture to your cage and I like the natural look for our cages, so. Um, what else? Oh, okay. Speaking of sprays. So the other type of spray that we use um, is this millet spray, which you can also find on Amazon. I don't know if it's prime. Um, our hamsters love these. This is their favorite spray. Um, I have to break it off into smaller pieces because these are like for birds. So they're like quite large. I break them into smaller pieces and put them in because they will devour these. So when we go on trips, they get a little bit of this because I know that they'll eat it. Um, okay, so though that's like the basic foods diet that we have, what you can buy, that we buy for food. Okay, so the final, final thing I wanted to talk about was I just did a video, I don't know, we're just coming up first, but I just did a video, or I'm going to post a video, um, where I made a bunch of hamster treats for my hamsters for Halloween. Um, you'll see, you, you should watch that video. Uh, talking of like, there is a big difference between hamster fantasy world and real life hamster ownership because <laughs> that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Um, but two things that you can make for your hamsters that are easy as heck that they will love, probably more than the garbage you try to make that looks fancy. Um, are pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. So literally all you have to do for sunflower seeds, and they, they're in the seed mix. So we knew that our hamsters love these things. So we went to an orchard as you do in the fall because, I don't know. I'm, I'm basic like that. I like orchards. So you go to the orchard and they have sunflower fields and we could buy sunflowers and so like a, a nice one to put in a vase. And then we picked one that was dead. Like seeds were out, dead. That's the one you want for your hamsters. So you grab that one and then you, you can harvest the seeds. You just pick it out of the sunflower. There's videos on this. I followed a tutorial on this. You pull the seeds out of the ham, out of the, uh, sunflower after it's like dry and then I just put these on a cookie sheet put it in the sun and dried them for a few days and once they're like dry they're no longer moist you can just put them in a bag and they're done I didn't even roast these these are just straight off the sunflower no cooking necessary we've used a lot of these the sunflower was a dollar do you know how expensive like treat bags are for hamsters? This is a dollar for all of this. And they are going to love it just as much as they're gonna love all the other treats, or at least our hamsters do. And it's not unhealthy like some of the other treats that are out there. So, now these require a little bit more. Um, these are pumpkin seeds. You have to harvest them from the pumpkin, which is obviously more intensive. But if you're carving a pumpkin anyway, you gotta get the guts out. So, I mean, you're collecting seeds either way. You take the seeds, and just like you would cook them for a human, put it on, well, difference. So, when you make them for humans, typically, you know, you gotta add the oil, then you add the salt, put them on the cookie sheet, you add more oil, you add more salt, you, um, None of that for hamsters, so it's easier. Just put it on the cookie tray, plain. Don't do anything to the cookie tray. Put it on a cookie sheet, lay them out, spread them out after you've cleaned the guts off. Put them in the oven, take them out. They're dry, they're ready to go. Hey, guess what? Your hamster will eat these right out of your hand because they taste good. They're used to eating pumpkin seeds. These are fresher than the pumpkin seeds in the seed mix. And they're a little bit different too because they're roasted in I don't know how they do those because they don't look roasted. They look different, but yeah. And you can, and I, we did a test 
Um, we didn't film it, but we did a test. If there's like a pumpkin seed that they prefer, we had sweet pumpkins and um, like a carving pumpkin, and they don't care. <laughs> um, and and actually, seed pumpkins or sorry, sweet pumpkins, which are like the smaller ones. Uh, like this, those sweet pumpkin, um, are usually, like, they're a set price as opposed to, like, by weight you have to get a carving pumpkin, but they are chock full of seeds. Very little guts, chock full of seeds. So, that is a deal and a half, if you're, like, debating between which to get. And another pro tip saving money for buying hamster treats go get pumpkins after halloween like that pumpkin you just saw i bought it yesterday november 1st cheap as hell because where are they gonna who's buying these pumpkins i'm also going to show you that she likes our little roasted pumpkin seeds so she likes these little roasted pumpkin seeds you can see you want this? Yep. <laughs> right away. That's a great deal. So once we're done looking at these that we just painted, we will be harvesting the seeds again, adding to our collection, and then we will never need to buy pumpkin seeds again for a set amount of time. Anyhow, if you're going to invest your time in making uh, treats for your hamsters, this is the way. I know that the channels are cute. I, As I said, I did a, a different video where I reviewed the channels. I tried the recipes. This is where it's at. Um, whatever. So now what we're going to do is I want to go on Amazon and I want to show you um, some of how Amazon is contributing to the malnutrition of hamsters and the misinformation uh, that hamster owners have and how they make it difficult to get good food. So let's do that. Okay, so now we are hopping on Amazon um, in a continuation of the video um, talking about how difficult it can be to buy the right food for your hamster and how Amazon is contributing to um, the misinformation uh, of hamster care. So a lot of people talk about like pet stores like Petco, PetSmart, etc. Um, but not a lot of people talk about Amazon and I actually think that especially in a pandemic Amazon's marketing is really impactful um, and a lot of people order from Amazon their products so I think I'm gonna make a whole separate video about all the ways that Amazon is misinforming potential hamster parents but right now we're just gonna focus on food so i'm gonna go into my search bar here and i'm just going to type um hamster food okay now right away at the top you see you have this oxbow brand now oxbow makes really great food for like rabbits, but their hamster mix is actually really bad because it's hay based and hamsters can't digest hay. They don't need hay, they need seeds. So right off the bat, you have this misinformation. Um, okay, now we're scrolling down. So as you can see, you have this wild harvest, which according to Munchy, and again, I'm going to link her video below because she's what inspired me to look into this more. You have this 
munchy or this sorry this uh, wild harvest brand which is not great for hamsters either um, offered as like a top suggestion and you look at the price and you're like oh my goodness it's only five dollars that's such a good deal and it would be really easy to like look at that and go oh I should get that one when it's not really the best brand um, now this 40 diet KT brand is more okay it's still not like the best but it's, it's acceptable uh, so that's fine let's keep scrolling and again it's like I don't know how much KT must be paying them to have all these as the top suggestions but we're scrolling then you see these like yogi's treats which they're not bad every once in a while but they certainly aren't food um, and again you just have like like timothy biscuits again they don't need hay so you have to scroll all the way down to here to this to get to the brand we buy, which is the Sunburst brand. And as you can see, there's no price listed. Um, and there's like, it's just like harder to get that information for whatever reason. So you have to click into it. Okay, and now you have to see all the buying options and then look at it you have free shipping and we would get it in four days for eleven dollars if we ordered from this first one if we order from the second one we get it sometime in late December early January which is crazy then there is an option to get it for five dollars but then you have to pay six dollars in shipping and it's getting there again later in November it's just like unless you're looking for this this isn't gonna be what you pick because it's not convenient so I don't know what the deal is with this but yeah, just odd because again, like Victoria Michelle recommends this, Munchie recommends this as like the basic uh, brand for your, the base of your seed mix. So now we're looking at the 40 Diet Pro Health. Um, and like I said, these are good. I think this is the bag we have. Um, but it has the blue dye. But like, look how expensive that is. Comparatively to like, here's this Wild Harvest brand for $10 higher up. Here's this Oxbow Fortified Nutrition for $5. It's, it's just like, not at all ranked by like health, it's more, I guess, sort of by price, but not really, you know, it's just strange. And then again, like Oxbow is dominating here. You've got like treats, you've got straight up hay in this corner. Like, of course people are going to think that hamsters like eat hay if you Google hamster food in Amazon and Timothy Hay pops up and Oxbow pops up everywhere. So it's just, it's just crazy. So now you see what I mean when I'm talking about how difficult it is to get the, the good stuff. 
on Amazon and how misleading I think Amazon is. But let's look up, so now I want to look up, because we didn't even see it in this first page. And I'm sure I'm going to spell this wrong. Yeah, okay. So this is the brand. Okay, so here we have the rat and mouse um, diet, which is also recommended by Vanilla Ham Ham as a not for Noah Ham Ham, Victoria Rochelle, as a protein add to your seed mix. And just like Sunburst, um, first of all, it doesn't even list hamster, uh, but it is good for hamsters. I don't know why it doesn't list hamsters. Um, but yeah, it's, again, you have to click into it to see all the buying options you know it's certainly not going to show up and, and this one i can understand amazon not recognizing as hamster food because it's not in the title like it's not going to show up that's really not amazon's fault but again it's like just contributing to this like larger problem of not having a seed mix that you can just buy, or like a, a packaging of uh, maybe a couple bags bags of, se of seeds and protein pellets that are sold together so that individuals are not like responsible for trying to navigate this like difficult web of resources. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just not nothing. So. And then we go into um, sprays, which I briefly talked about as well. So you've got these wheat sprays, you've got the millet sprays, they pop up right away. That's great. Um, and then you've got a bunch of randomness. And then you have, okay. <laughs> um, oh, there's sunburst. But like, let's say I wanna get my oat sprays. Oh look, I'm still looking, not at the top. Nowhere to be found. Let's go to page two. Well, there's Timothy Hay again. Hey, Wheezies! That's weird that that shows up. But yeah, that those are good um, chews for hamsters. Like, you see how difficult it is? And one that I still have never been able to find has been uh, flax sprays. Yeah, see, you've got millet, you've got wheat. You know, it's just crazy. Because <laughs> um, Victoria Rochelle, her hamsters, like, love the flax sprays. So I've been trying to, like, get these flax sprays now for months. And I have never found them on Amazon. So let, a let alone in, like, a pet store. I've never seen them in a pet store. I'm surprised I can't find the oat sprays. Let me just look up the brand. Tropical... Carnival Oat. Sweet. Again, it's like, 
I'm sorry if I'm like also in a weird frame. I can't see myself when I record my screen. So you could just be seeing my eyes, my lips. I don't know. I don't even see the oats anymore. And Rocky loves the oats. That's great. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do is, because this is just difficult for pe for anybody to navigate, I'm going to link um, like my favorite like products uh, in the description of my video. So if you wanna buy them for your hamster, you can. Um, without having to peruse through the array of just bad information on hamster food on Amazon. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, like I said, I'm going to be filming another video soon about hamster everything on Amazon and how I think it's contributing to just mass information and misinformation about hamster care. Um, that's its own thing. But until then, uh, I hope you like uh, this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below what you've been using. If you found the oat sprays or, you know, a question you might have about hamsters. I can't say that I'm like an expert or anything. Um, but I'll link Munchie's channel down below. Definitely check her video out. And yeah, um, and I hope if you want to see more hamster videos or videos about other things, um, I'm going to be also posting a like cooking video coming up, like trying to follow some cooking tutorials, um, a scrapbooking video, I'm doing a fitness video. It's going to be a variety, <laughs> um, but if you want to see those, uh, definitely subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful day. So, see you next time.